Well, this morning we're giving you a behind the scenes look at this year's Open Season Sportsman Expo from experts giving demonstrations to vendors and supplies. I'm thinking I should have went down there this morning. Brooke Slyer beat me to it. She's at the convention center in downtown Paducah with one last look. Brooke, what do you have for us? Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, as I said just a few minutes ago, I saved the best for last. Joining me this morning again, who was here last year with me, is Byron Ferguson. He has traveled all over the world to do his archery. And our producer asked during commercial break, can he do his archery blindfolded? The answer is yes. So, Byron, go ahead and tell me a little bit about how you got into archery and all the places that you've traveled. Uh, I can't think of all the places I've traveled. I've slept since then, but uh, I've been literally all over the world doing this and the last, uh, working on 40 years now. Been doing a long time. What got me into archery uh, was hunting whitetail deer there in my home state of Alabama. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I found out that I could hunt deer a whole month earlier with bow and arrow than I could with a firearm. So I asked my dad to uh, buy me a bow to work a deer hunt. He said, you going what? He went to deer hunt with a bow and arrow. He thought that was the funniest thing he ever heard of. But uh, when he stopped laughing, he said no. Unlike the farmer, the first time I asked a farmer if I could go quail hunting on his place with a bow and arrow, when he quit laughing, he said yes. <laughs> so, But that's, that's how I got into it. And how long does it take you to, you know, master a certain trick? Still working on that part. Still uh, working on it? I don't consider myself to be a master. Uh, I'm still trying to learn. It's like if you are the best shot in your archery club, find another club. You always got to try to get better. You'll never be a master. If you ever consider yourself to be a master, it's when you start on the downhill slope. Well, compared to me, you are a master. So I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way so we can get a shot of you doing your shot. So. Okay. All right. I wish I could learn how to do this, so I might have to come this weekend. You're going to be here every single day this weekend? Every day, uh, all day long. All right, sounds good. Well, of course, I'm going to have this information on our website a little later this morning. That's WSILTV.com under News 3 this morning. But for now, back to you in the studio. All right, thanks for that. Well, in Kentucky, where Brooks at this morning, it's day two of snow preparations. Crews pre-treating roads there and intersections with brine, and it leaves a fine powder and activates with falling snow, which keeps frozen precipitation from sticking to the pavement. Now, crews say they will begin work on priority B and priority C routes today, which is most side streets, and drivers are reminded.